Ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing? Welcome to the dojo. Sorry, I gotta do my hair during this quarantine. Can't see my barber, but it's good to see you guys. I'm here to do an unboxing, another one, yes indeed, of Majora's Mask. I just got it in the mail, and let me tell you something. This finally completes my Zelda collection. Not that I personally have been the biggest Zelda person in the world. I'm not the biggest Zelda you know, enthusiast. However, I do respect the games. I have played some of the games. And I do enjoy talking Zelda for those who are, you know, just a little well-versed in the subject of the video game. I do not have the original one, but I do have the ones for the Nintendo 64 and the GameCube. Like, Ocarina of Time and Ocarina of Time Collector's Edition. What actually brought this about was I was in college and I really wanted to buy uh, Ocarina of Time, and I couldn't find the original one. I can only find the special edition one. So while on Amazon, I bought it, said screw it, it'll be fine. Ended up playing it. One of the absolute best games I've ever played. So good, so much content. So much content that I actually started the game not once, didn't start it over twice, but started the game over three times before I said screw it. There's way too much crap in this game for me to waste my time trying to do it all. I'm just going to beat the game and call it a solid day. The game is phenomenal, though. Epic story, good mechanics. I'm not going to lie. I was so drained by the third time I beat the... Th just the first time beating the game, but it was the third restart. I poured so many hours into it. I was just so emotionally exhausted as a gamer. I was like, ah, finally. I couldn't even enjoy beating Ganon or Gandor, or Gandalf, or whatever the hell his name is, that green-looking bastard. But, again, even though I was emotionally drained, and I just wanted to get it over with, the game was still a very epic journey. I will not take away from that. The other two games, of course, that I have are Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Haven't been able to play it. I bought this, I would say, about a month ago in Twilight Princess. This my mother bought for me. When I was a little younger, my mother was so good for Christmases. She would find the most obscure games, even though it's past their prime. We're talking like, okay, this is really hard to find. Put it down. My mother found it. I will talk about some of those hard to find games in another video. But in the meantime, this is completing my Zelda collection. I have no interest in buying any others. If I do, whoop de freaking do. That's nice. But let's see what we got here in this particular box for Majora's Mask. Oh, they even wrapped it. That was nice of them. Oh, they did a great job packaging this. I don't know what the 1660 is, but Majora's Mask, the special edition, does look pretty. It's going to look real nice next to these other Zeldas. Hold on, let me see if I can open this. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This was money well spent. I think I paid maybe... 40 or 50 for this oh yeah this is shoot it looks like it's been clean too you can see all the scratches on the back and etc it's not too good with this video quality however whoo just look at that look at that 3d image that's real nice and then putting these together mind blown if you guys are like interested in finding out about majora's mask i heard the concept of it was you're caught in a time loop so for three days, at least game time, you have the moon coming down on your surroundings and it's going to destroy the world. And if you don't succeed in getting your mask or whatever, you all die. You have to restart again. Like I said, not familiar with it. The only things I do know is the bad guy from every other Zelda game isn't really seen in this. And Zelda's seen like once in a flashback. Link is pretty much on a whole new epic journey. It has the same engine as Ocarina of Time, but just a little different. I remember Eric Irizarry. He is one of the greatest soccer players I've ever played with. Went to high school with him, and he would just do things on a Pele level. We're talking Cristiano Ronaldo level, where he would just, not intentionally, he wasn't a show-off, but he would play mind games with guys just because of how good he was. I don't care what anybody says. Just because he didn't play D1, just because he didn't become a superstar, you know, he had other aspirations. He knew that there was more to life than soccer, so I won't give him crap crap for that 
But again, just one of the greatest soccer players I've ever seen. But I remember him bitching about this in class. He was like, you fool! Majora's Mask is the hardest game I've ever said. That was his catchphrase. You fool! And he was bitching about how hard this game was and how it was like incredibly difficult to play. So some people, that's a turn off having to replay the same thing. Because once you restart, it's a restart. You know, everything you had, go on. At least that's what I understand. But for the most part, this game, just another piece of Zelda history, gaming history, another add-on to my beautiful collection. We'll definitely talk about Zelda games probably in a future video that I have a more in-depth how I got them. But for the most part, this was a pretty good unboxing. I'm pretty happy with the product I have right here because, again, some of these games... Some people are just trying to sell them for like hundreds of dollars and you're just like, eh. Now granted, when 64 games dropped initially, they were $90, but no, not happening. Like I got this one, I want to say less than 25 bucks. And if, try and find one of these babies for less than 25 now. You got to know how to bargain, you got to know how to look, and more importantly, you got to be patient and you got to be fair. Don't ever try and rip somebody off unless they don't know what they're selling. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John the Ninja. Till next time, stay safe, be smart, and God bless.